This video documents the build of, of a bicycle camper called Imua. In Hawaiian, the word Imua means to move forward. Imua will be similar in design to this camper, except for the sides will be flat, but she will still have a curved roof. One of the top design considerations for Imua is that it has to be extremely durable. Not only will it need to hold up to a tropical climate, but we're going to give it to a homeless person who will be using it every day as their primary home. In order for Imua to last as long as possible in this tropical climate, I've elected not to use wood or metal in the frame or the shell. The frame will be made from one and a half inch PVC that is fiberglass reinforced in any areas that are going to receive extra stress. Imua is a rectangular box. It's going to be eight foot long, four foot wide, and four foot high. There will be a curved roof. Our first step is to build the frame. Let's cut all the PVC to the lengths that we need. See all the rough edges? With all the PVC cut, it's time to get gluing. The trick with building something like this is not to glue yourself into a corner. We like to build it like a ladder, adding each rung one at a time. The last two pieces of this puzzle are where the wheels are going to connect, and these need to be flattened. Helps to heat it up from the inside a little bit. Not too much though. That magic moment. So everybody, heat it up. You have to keep it hot in there. Exactly what you want. Give it a little heat. Got a little split that's never ideal, but we're going to hide it this thing anyways to give it more support because that's where the axle is going. So when we drill our hole, we'll be drilling it through the PVC and the fiberglass. Okay, now it's all even on the bottom. It's going to be slightly high here. Let's get that bubble flat. That's it, she's done. Just like that. Just leave it there for a minute to cool. This is definitely not flat. We want to push that corner down.
press this, but it just needs to touch. Two clamps on either side of this would be the best. Oh, would you just put this with your other hand right on there? side and hold it down on this side. Okay, that's that. 
The next step is to create a 4x8 sheet of fiberglass that will become one of Emua's walls. At our local home improvement store, we found this cheap piece of 4x8 sheet material that is smooth on one side. We've just used car wax as a mold release agent, and we've got it all covered and ready to go. Let's get some resin in the pan, add some catalyst, and stir it all up. When making a sheet of fiberglass like this, I like to wet the mold first. This helps to make sure that the layer of fiberglass is properly saturated with resin on both sides. Now I just got to cover everything with fiberglass. In this case, we're using chop strand.
Now it's time for the PVC pipe that we ripped into these stretches of half rounds. We're going to be using these as the ribs or the supports for each one of these PVC sheets. If this first rib support turns out okay, we'll do the rest the same way.